Hi, I'm Ed Wardle, and I'm absolutely terrified of bears. In fact, there could be one watching me right now. But it's not that bad. I've built myself a fort out of this top, and I'm sitting in my hammock. I hear that bears are afraid of hammocks. I read it in this book. It was called Winnie the Pooh. But I still can't get it out of my head that I could be getting watched by a bear right now. In fact, I think I heard something. Oh, I don't think he spotted me. I'm safe in my fort, but there are bears everywhere. Okay, I'm not actually Ed Wardle. I'm Lloyd. But it had to be done. There's not much else to do here today. I'm sitting in a rainstorm in my hammock. Killing time till time kills me. But it's better than being at work. Sorry, Ed. Had to be done. Well, it's Thursday. I just spent the better part of two days in a hammock under a tarp because it's been raining. Uh, John, if you're watching this, uh, Scottish rain may be the wettest substance on earth, but Canadian rain's a close second. Everything I own smells like wet feet or wet dog or wet feet wrapped in wet dog. It's been fairly miserable, but you know, it's better than a day at the office. Today's the first day it hasn't been raining when I woke up, but unfortunately it's really, really windy, which means there's probably not going to be a whole lot of canoeing to be done. Where I'm at right now is fairly sheltered, but you know, if I look off here to my right hand side, the water's moving pretty quick. This is a sheltered narrow section of the lake. If I get out into the big section, it's just going to be a nightmare with that prospector. Wouldn't be quite so bad with the Karanji, but still, you know, it's a lot of work. So, you know, I'm better off staying put where I am. I still got a few more days here. Anyhow, like I said, better than a day at the office. Well, what have we here? Look at that, Hunter. We got something in one of our snares. So, we got ourselves some haggis in that snare. Uh, these haggis are native of Scotland, but sometimes they migrate through this part of Canada. Uh, after feeding all summer over here, they got to build up the calories for the long swim back to Scotland. These are actually fairly, fairly rare in this part of Canada. Not many of them migrate over here. Most of them have been uh, depleted due to overhunting and trapping and such. Uh, as you can see, uh, this particular variety of haggis has a, a fairly tough shell that we have to get through if we want to eat it. And endangered species in Canada or not, you know, survival situation, what do you do, right? Plus, I walked into the snare. I was snaring rabbits, got a haggis. Not going to complain with that. Now, uh, maybe later today I can snare myself up some mashed potatoes. And we'll have a good meal.
cartridge. Or gross, more or less. Easy as that.